Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Please turn your devices to as max settings. 4K60. Back at you with some more Starfield Adventures, continuing where we left off from in the last video. Back aboard my Mantis spaceship. And about to chart a course to go after one of these missions that I picked up from trying to join the Free Star Rangers. This episode will definitely be a more lengthy one compared to the last. The last video, I just wanted to continue with my attempt to join the Free Star Rangers as well as talk about the updates and the visual improvements made to the game and here we are and then and and dramas and dramas too and drama system and we're going to be engaging enemy which To me, the game already looked good. Um, this, like this game just really looks amazing to me. Like I'm sorry, it really does. Now, I got a new display, a new TV, about three months ago. I kind of feel like, like I said, it's like between a combination of the I we were dead, but patches and my display. Terrified. It's just honestly I a lot better. By the Mantis. Everybody keeps going on about this Mantis. Who the hell is the Mantis? The Mantis is a bounty hunter with a bit of a reputation. It must be some reputation. I've never seen anything like that. And so modest. The Mantis is a bona fide legend. Oh, man. So is it customary to give the Mantis some sort of reward? The Mantis never takes a reward. Bless you, sir. Uh, Ma'am. I can't believe we were rescued by you. Wait, so this is free? You both gotta be pulling my leg here. Your friend is right. This righteous act is my only reward. This is gotta be the weirdest day. Oh, man. Classic Mantis. Well then, thank you, Mantis. Ship's repaired. We'll be heading out. And just like that, they're off in a blink of a, an eye. Or should I say a star? Man, like, got me out here in a freaking asteroid field. You know... So I'm going to dive into my thoughts on the game. And as far as the hate that it receives, like this game gets so much hate, it's just really insane to me. And then you got the ponies, you know, the pony fanboy communities who still delusional and think that this game is coming to PS5. Still want it to be on PS5, on PlayStation. But yet, we'll turn around in the same breath and say that the game sucks. So which is it? Does the game suck? I mean, if the game sucks, why would you want it? I just... I will never understand them. Can never wrap my mind around it. Nor do I really want to. Now, 
now that we've safely landed, let's go ahead and disembark from the ship. Now this planet. But yeah, people find so much speed. things to nitpick about the game. Oh, it's a loading. You know, everything's a loading screen. Like, how how long did that take me to load from I'm boarding the ship? Literally split seconds. Just testing out the gravity of this planet, seeing if it's, you know, less gravity here, which gravity seems kind of heavy. Obviously, didn't float, and looks like we got an enemy up ahead. You know, I'm going to go with my instincts here, which is I kind of want to just run up on them and attack directly ahead but being that I've also just seen that turret I'm going to try to take a more stealthier approach which yeah seems like the smartest course of action let's go ahead and climb up on these rocks here even though I have a decent shotgun, this shotgun really, really, it shreds. Even even higher it level like enemies, it, it shreds. I wonder what that generator is for. Come on! Oh. Like the last of he didn't stand a chance, not at all. But yes, I, you know, if you would like to really understand what's going on with my episodes or my playthrough, because this is the first playthrough still, you can check out my extensive playlist. Lots of good episodes, great episodes for you to check out as well as plenty of other more variety Series X and S content just waiting for you. That's what you get. Just crap up in here right behind us like you were slick. You're not slick. Now you're sleeping. But when I fired this thing up, I immediately noticed the visual improvements, the lighting improvements. And I'm really not too surprised because, you know, it's something that Bethesda is known for doing, which is they will release a game and they'll keep supporting it and making improvements and adjustments to the game making the game better than what it was at launch. We've seen it with Fallout 4, we've seen it with Fallout 76, and I'm quite sure with plenty of other Bethesda, Bethesda design titles prior to this. So, you know, I, I have faith in Bethesda. It's a great studio. Game. You're going down. You should be the one dying. How about you first? Shots. He was gone. What's in here? It's lock. I'm gonna assume one of these 
spacers must be holding or occupying the key card for this. Or it could possibly be laying around somewhere in, in this cavern. So we'll just keep an eye out for it. Gotta leave a mark. Now, I'll be honest. One of the updates that I don't like that they brought to the game, which is, an, is one of the earlier updates back when I was heavily playing this game and making content with it. Um... I don't like the update that when you go and loot fallen enemies, like wow, what's this dude doing? Just waiting in the water. I need more. You know, we're about to make sure that he drowns. No more soaking in the, in the hot springs for this guy. But yeah, what I don't like about one of the early on updates that they brought to the game is how when you go and loot um like the clothing and, and stuff like that off of the NPCs they stay clothed which I think is dumb now if you play Fallout 3 Vegas Fallout 4 like when you go and loot fallen enemies like it literally strips them of their clothing like how this game did at first you know but I do understand the sensitivity with things nowadays so I guess that's why they did the update and changed it where when you loot the um, clothing and space suits from the fallen NPCs they stay clothed which like I said I understand them you know trying to be more sensitive as far as gaming wise but I also feel like that's dumb it kind of removes the immersion from the game like forgive me if I'm wrong or if you you know disagree if you disagree with me that's fine it's you know it's respectable I can respect that and understand that but just as a Bethesda game player and playing plenty of Bethesda games that have Fallout elements and Skyrim elements and stuff like that. I just think that it's, it's kind of silly. It's like I go and loot your clothing or your gear and you're still wearing it. That's just, it's not realistic compared to, like I said, how the game originally was and there are past titles where it's like that as well or the older Bethesda games so it's kind of stupid but like I said I also understand and just like any Bethesda game you want to search the areas for many useful and valuable items like this this magazine we just picked up. I could take that helmet, but I don't need it. Plus, I seem to be getting over encumbered really quickly. So, trying to travel as light as possible and not take anything that I necessarily don't need or anything that isn't of high value. What is this? A Xenogrub. Was. So that's what those look like on the inside. It's also quite humorous and funny that a lot of these pony fanboys 
PS5 users and fanboys been driving the narrative of is that you know Xbox has no games which couldn't be any more further than the truth they keep adding AAA titles to Game Pass literally left and right and it's funny like I said the narrative they seem to be still driving is Xbox has no games and it's like I have plenty of Xbox unfinished games like I have too many games unfinished that I own and when you pair it with Game Pass it just doesn't make any sense quality games and I just find it quite hilarious that they they ran out and spun $70 for games that we basically got over here on Xbox for free. They went and spent $70 on it on games that we had 6 years ago, 6 6 7 year old games. And but you had to tell us we have no games. Xbox game sucks. But yet they spun ran out and spun $70 really quickly for those same games. So quickly that those were like top selling games in the PlayStation store for a few days. So, doesn't make sense. How you say it today, make it make sense. I don't need that space suit that's in the, dis in the display, but I'm going to take it because it has value and I can sell it. I really need to find me a suitable store to sell a lot of the items that I have that's really taking up a lot of my space inventory and hopefully get some decent revenue and credits for it. I also need to upgrade my character skill tree so that I have a better bartering. Um, a better bartering stat this way when I do sell my items I can get top dollar and pay minimum price for when purchasing things from vendors stores etc and we're going to recalibrate this Tourette to turn on any unsuspecting spaces still lurking out here on the entryway that we stealthily came in through the back door. Things you can only do in the Bethesda game. Better yet, an even better phrase for it would be those only in Starfield moments. check the area right quick for any more valuables before we head back to the ship episode i want to thank you all for tuning in highly appreciate your support always please help me out because it really means a lot to me simply leave a like share comment subscribe peace and be well noob is out